Hi everybody, it's Stacy here from Stacy Wells Artist Room. Thank you for joining me this afternoon. This is my second video of the day. Um, I've decided to um, do, uh, since I love these open cup pours so much, I decided to do another one of the, these bigger ones with the three cups. And um, I didn't mix up enough white to cover the whole thing, but you don't really need to cover the whole thing anyway because you're gonna be pouring paint into it. So I didn't worry about that. I thought I'd try it this way. I've done them like this a couple of times before where you just put a spot of, you know, it's fairly thick, but just in the middle instead of covering the whole canvas. I always am looking for ways to cut corners as far as waste being wasteful. And uh, I thought, um, you know, I've done this like this before and I didn't have any problems with it and it saves you having to cover the whole canvas with a bunch of thick paint that you're just gonna pour off anyway. So um, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Um, and if it works, then, you know, that's just something else I can, you know, save on. Cause I don't know about y'all, but this is, you know, it's not cheap and I like doing it so much that I like to stretch out my money as much as I can so I can buy new paints and, you know, when something new comes out, I can try it and that kind of thing. So I'm always looking to cut corners if I can. Um, I'm not gonna sacrifice myself in any way. You know, if I see that it's detrimental, then of course I won't do that. But um, speaking of, uh, <laughs> You know, I, I was talking the other day, and n not many people have watched very many of my videos, so you haven't heard it, but about the difference in paint, because I use mainly Arteza, Artisloft, Master's Touch, and uh, Liquitex Basics. And I've always wanted to try Golden because, well, they're so much more expensive. I just, there's gotta be something there. You know, I, I can say I've been shopping a little bit and, and I am gonna try some of it just a little bit, you know, because they're really expensive, but they do have a, a wide variety of colors and uh, some different colors. And so I'm, um, I thought I might try something and just see, you know, because you never know if you don't try. And um, so I, I'm just gonna check it out. Um, but I use um, mainly Master's Touch and Liquitex Basics except for the metallics, I use a lot of um, DecoArt, like 24 karat gold, and I have the DecoArt bronze, pearl, um, copper, burgundy, and uh, a blue. That's all DecoArt in those little tubs, just like the 24 karat gold, and I've been using those forever, and I love them, and they work really well. And today in this pour, um, here's my embellishment for the day. I hope you can see that. Um, I think that's beautiful. It's like a little, um, what do you call it? Uh, ornamental uh, uh, cherry blossom. Yes, that's what it is. And um, so I've got some Deco Art Gold, 24 karat gold, Master's Touch Black, Master's Touch Pink, Master's, no, Arteza, um, I think it's Crimson. Um, and then the uh, Deco Art Pearl. Um, I'm going to use instead of regular white. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's really pretty. It's almost a silver, but not quite. Then I've got another Master's Touch. Um, it's it's actually uh, a darker pink. And then this color, which is, it's almost like, well, it's very similar to copper, but it's Master's Touch Brown Red is what it's called, and I love that color. It's really pretty. Um, so anyway, um, well, that's what I'm going to do. And let's just get started. Uh, here, I don't know where to start. I'm not sure what I want to do first. I guess we can always start with gold. I love gold. We can go with gold first. And this is Master's Touch White uh, base coat that I have on. Um, and like I said, it, it's, it's thick enough. Um, I meant deep enough. I don't mean thick as in consistency thick because um, as far as the consistency, it's relatively thin. Um, on these open cup pours, I mix mine thinner than I do on flip cups or swaps or anything else, um, just because that seems to work better for me. I, I feel like for some some reason, it seems to me like the paint needs to be a little thinner to, to make cells, to come underneath those cups and make cells. Uh, it has a harder time, it seems like, coming up underneath the cups if it's really thick. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Um, we'll see. 
but I, I don't talk much about how I mix my paints, um, you know, except for just the ratios because I don't measure. Um, you know, I just, um, I go by how it feels and how it looks and how it stirs. Um, I've heard that um, on most pores, your consistency should be akin to warm honey. That's the phrase that you hear. Um, but to me, that's a little bit thick on a pour like this. I like it to be a little thinner. See, I, I think the cells form better if um, the consistency is uh, a little thinner than that. Now, on a flip cup, uh, the warm honey equation seems to work fine. Um, but um, I go by how it um, how it feels, things that are unquantifiable, like how it feels when I stir it and um, how it, um, how, how it looks. Uh, I know that probably isn't very helpful for those of you who like to measure. Um, but that's the way I do it. I just, it takes so much of the fun out of it to me if you have to get out a measuring cup and um, a graduated cylinder and a scale or something. I feel like I'm in chemistry class or cooking. And I don't like either one of those things. So, um, I guess uh, if you need those kind of parameters, you may not learn a lot here, but um, I think that you can learn to, anybody can learn to do it the way I do it. Um, just practice, um, I guess, is the, you know, just like with all of this, it's practice that, um, and learning what works for you. Let's see here. I really like that little embellishment. I think it's gonna be pretty, uh, depending on how the pour comes out. Um, I've been into my embellishments lately. I've been doing more of that. Um, I'm just moving this around a little bit. Give me a little more space. I make sure to put a little bit more white paint on the canvas. <laughs> Um, we'll see how that turns out. I'm going to go with some more red. I love the way that's, that pink looks, though. And um, it is still raining. It was raining earlier when I made my other video. And it is still raining. And uh, my dogs are stinky and wet. I have a husky and a, well, we don't know what she is. She's like a Dalmatian lab mix is what she kind of looks like. Um, and they're probably both in there uh, trying to get on the bed because that's where they would like to be when they're nasty and wet. love that Deco Art 24 karat gold. I think it's just beautiful. And the other Deco Art colors that I mentioned, um, if you haven't tried those, um, I recommend them highly. The, um, the Pearl and um, there's, like I said, a, um, a, a really pretty burgundy and a, like a sapphire blue. Um, it's almost like the Deco Art Deep Sapphire that you get in the smaller, um, you know, containers. Uh, it's kind of like that color, 
kind of akin to that. And this table is a disaster. I have ordered a new pouring uh, tray um, because I can't fit these large canvases very well with this one. Uh, it When I ordered it, it was supposed to fit them. Um, the measurements are such that it should, but um, it doesn't. And I don't know why that is, but um, I was really upset that it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. But um, sometimes things don't. And like I said, I've ordered another one and um, we'll see how it turns out. It is. It should be a crate. I mean, it should be plenty big. Um, according to what they say it measures. But we'll have to see how that turns out. I've tried lots of different kind of setups over here uh, over the years with my pouring table and um, how I have things arranged and um, I'm always changing things up. Yeah, brown red is what they call that, but it looks a lot like copper. I'm not sure um, that there's much difference, but it's a beautiful color. I really like Master's Touch paints. I don't know that many other people that, that use them on YouTube. I haven't seen um, many other people talk about them, but um, I get them at Hobby Lobby, and that's one of the reasons I like them is I can get them at Hobby Lobby. Because we don't have a Michaels or, you know, any fancy art stores around here. I have to order most of my stuff from Amazon. And, um, which is fine. But, um, uh, Master's Touch is one of the ones I can get at Hobby Lobby. So it's convenient for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these things off. And so we can move this paint around some. I'm kind of regretting that I didn't put more paint, more of a base coat down this time. But if you don't experiment, you don't learn. That's the way I like to sweep these a little bit just so they don't make big patchy blob areas in the middle of your painting. Usually if I do that, I can torch it and they'll sell some and blend in a little bit better. Like that. I don't know, I just didn't have, I, I wish I'd had a little bit more white around, but we'll see how it turns out. I think it's going to be pretty anyway. Make the best of things. Alright, my torches do it better. The torch has been giving me problems, but it's doing better today. Okay, we'll get that corner over there. I just like the cells that these open cup pours make. Um, they're, to me, they're, they're different um, than what I get with my flip cups and swipes and things. And um, I like the concentricity of it. Um, and I, I just like the way they look. Um, I like the way they come out. I'll go down towards this back corner down here. I'm trying not to tilt too fast. I get in a real big hurry sometimes. I don't know why. this a lot. I think it's turning out really pretty. Alright, I'm going to tilt over here and get these corners. That helps me sometimes if I have a block and I'm, you know, sometimes I can't think of what I want to do. I know I want to 
make something, but um, my colors are not coming together in my mind or, you know, um, I'll start to think, well, I'm being redundant. You know, I love blues and greens and earth colors and sea colors and those kind of inspirations. And I'll think sometimes, well, you know, you've done a million and one of those, you know, you should do something different. If I can't make up my mind on what I want to do, a lot of times I'll go and uh, look at the embellishments and pick out an embellishment and that'll help me um, think about what colors I want to use or how I want to go about it. Um, I don't know, that just, it just helps me sometimes. I don't know, when I need inspiration, that's what I do. Some of the things, one of the things I did, ooh, look at that big piece of gunk. Goodness, I don't even know what that was, but it was nasty. bit of that corner there off and then I'm gonna come back down and see if I can stretch out that red and um, I like that I want the red and the pink um, but I, I don't like what I did to that corner I'm gonna attempt to sort of undo that a little bit because this is pretty what's coming out down here at the bottom but I don't like that I don't like what I did to the corner I'm, I'm gonna adjust that again okay I think that's really pretty y'all Yeah, see, it just won't fit exactly right up on there. And it's very frustrating. And sometimes I can get it to kind of balance, and uh, I left something sitting on it the other day, and I thought it was balanced, and I came back in here, and it was pouring off the sides. All right, let's torch this again and see what happens. I know one thing. On a day like today, it's a really good day to be inside painting or work on my glass or something like that because uh, driving is horrible. The roads are terrible. And I don't know why, but people feel like they either need to drive like it's the Indianapolis 500 or else they want to drive like my grandma used to drive. So it's very frustrating and sometimes scary. It's all coming together. I think it's very pretty. I don't know if y'all can see a difference, you know, that that's that pearl, deco art pearl, instead of just regular white. I don't know if that can, I doubt that you can really tell much difference, but I can tell a difference. The pearl is really pretty. And if you're shopping for your whites or whatever and have an opportunity to try it, I would recommend it. I think that's very pretty, y'all. And um, let me show you the little design thing again. See, I don't know, I'll put it somewhere. Maybe right up the, you know, I usually try to put them around the middle, but Maybe down the side, I don't know, we'll see. Let me get y'all down where y'all can take a look, a little better look and I wanna show you, well, that's not right yet, so I'll wait and show you later, but I wanted to show you the one that I made earlier um, today because, uh, but I'll wait till it dries, but it, it's very pretty. All right, let's see here. See there from the top, how that looks. Let me show you down up close. I put some, I mentioned the copper in there um and i'm glad i put that in there i like it but look at that deco art shine that stuff is just amazing even those cells
That might be my favorite part down there in the bottom with the black and the gold and the pink. I don't know. I think it's very pretty. little cells right there those little that look like a chain of pearls those are pretty okay well that's about gonna do it for this one um i really appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, joining me today uh, it's always nice to have company and um check out my other videos i have some uh some some that i guess could be considered tutorials on paint on a stained glass um because there were some things that I wish somebody had told me when I started doing stained glass and so I, I took more of a tutorial approach with those um, and I hope that they're helpful for somebody if you're uh, looking to start doing stained glass and the other ones are on paint pouring and some there there's some resin art in there too um, anyway uh, I appreciate you being here and don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel so inclined I'd appreciate it it makes me feel welcome since I'm new all right, and I'll uh, y'all join me for my next video. I'm sure there'll be another one today, and I make videos every day, um, so you can count on that. Thanks a lot for being here. See you later.